The hardest part of AI character generation? Consistency. That's why in this video, I'll show you how to train a custom Flux Laura using Flux Gym on RunPod, so your characters stay true, no matter the pose or prompt. To get started with training Flux Lauras using Flux Gym on RunPod, you'll first need to create a RunPod account. Just head to their website and sign up using your email or social login. Once your account is active, add some funds. We recommend at least $10 to cover the GPU compute costs during training. You can do this easily in the billing section of your dashboard. This initial balance helps ensure uninterrupted access to GPU pods throughout your training sessions. With your account set up and funded, you're ready to deploy the custom Flux Gym template template we built on RunPod and start training your Flux Dev Laura models. So what is Flux Gym exactly? It's a streamlined web interface that makes training Flux Laura models fast and beginner friendly. And even if you're not a coder, built from two powerful open source projects, AI Toolkit on the front end and Koya's training scripts on the back, Flux Gym gives you everything you need in one place. With a simple three-step workflow, you can set up your Laura, upload your data set, and start training with just a few clicks even on low VRAM GPUs. Now that you know what Flux Gym is, let's head back to RunPod, deploy our custom Flux Gym template, and get set up to train our first LoRa. Now that your RunPod account is funded, it's time to deploy your GPU pod using the next diffusion, Flux Gym template we've built. Head over to the pod section in your dashboard, and at the top, choose Community Cloud. It's a great option to keep costs lower for this tutorial. Then, select a GPU from the list. One of the nice things about Flux Gym is that it runs well even on lower VRAM GPUs, like 12 or 16 gigabytes, but for faster training and best results, I recommend an RTX 4090 if it's available. Once you've picked your GPU, scroll down and click Change Template. From the list, select Next Diffusion, Flux Gym. If you don't see it, there's a link in the description that will auto-select it for you. Next, set GPU count to 1 and choose On Demand Pricing, which charges only while the pod is running. At the time of this recording, an RTX 4090 on Community Cloud costs about 34 cents per hour a great value for the power you're getting. When everything looks good, scroll to the bottom and hit Deploy On Demand. You'll be redirected to the My Pods page, where your pod will start spinning up with Flux Gym fully pre-installed and ready for training. After deploying your pod, navigate to the Pods section in the Run Pod sidebar and expand your pods panel to watch the live initialization logs as the system pulls and extracts the next diffusion, Flux Gym Docker image. This process can take a few minutes. Once the Docker image is fully downloaded and extracted, click the Logs button to follow the live setup progress. You'll see detailed messages from the Flux Gym template as it configures your training environment, including a message indicating that the VS Code server is running on port 88. When you see this, close the logs panel and click the connect button on your pod. Then open the HTTP service for port 8888 to launch a browser-based Visual Studio Code environment preloaded with the Flux Gym file system inside the container. Since everything is already set up within the Docker image, no additional installation is needed. With this ready, you can now start the Flux Gym UI and begin exploring your training workspace. So how do we start the Flux Gym web interface? Inside the workspace directory, you'll find a script we've already prepared called run underscore Flux Gym dot sh. Running this script will launch the Flux Gym interface. To do that, click the terminal icon in the top right corner of the VS Code window to open a terminal panel, then type dot slash run underscore Flux Gym dot sh and press enter. This starts the back end with GPU support, and after a short wait, you'll see a message confirming that Flux Gym is live on port 78 Six zero. You can access the interface in two ways. Either click the link shown in the terminal output or go back to the pods page. Click connect and choose the HTTP service for port 7860. The Flux Gym UI will open in a new browser tab. Just make sure to keep the terminal running as it powers the system and shows live logs during training. Before diving into parameters and data set prep, take a moment to visualize the character you want to create. Think about the vibe, personality, and aesthetic. Your mod Model will reflect these choices, so it's important to be intentional. For example, my concept is a tall, striking woman with icy blue almond-shaped eyes, flawless porcelain skin, a sleek platinum bob, and cherry red lips. A character who feels timeless and high fashion, like she belongs in a luxury brand campaign. To give this Laura a unique identity and make it 
easy to activate later. I'm using a custom trigger word spelled with numbers. Cherry Blonde. Short, memorable, and on theme. Next, head to the Step 1 panel in the Flux Gym UI and fill in the key fields. Start with the Laura name. This must be unique as it identifies your project, so enter Cherry Blonde here. The trigger word is what you'll use in prompts to evoke the trained character. Set this to Cherry Blonde as well. For base model, choose Flux Dev since we're training on that model. Finally, set the VRAM to 20 gigabytes, which maximizes performance for the RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of memory. These settings form the foundation of your lore project. You'll notice additional training options below, like max epics and sample prompts, but you can safely leave those at their default values for now. We'll revisit them after you upload and caption your dataset in step 2. Next up, we'll cover preparing your dataset and using Florence 2 for automated captioning. Essential steps to build a strong, style-consistent Laura. Now it's time for dataset preparation, the most important part of building a good Laura. A well-curated dataset is crucial to training a strong, character-based model. A good starting point is to gather 15 to 20 high-quality images of your character that capture their unique look and personality. To give the model enough visual information, aim for a diverse range of shots. For example, your dataset might include five close-ups focusing on different facial expressions and key features like eyes and lips, five upper-body shots that showcase posture, styling, and attire, five images from various angles to highlight the character's features from different perspectives, and five full-body photos that capture the overall silhouette and style. This balance helps ensure the model learns your character thoroughly from multiple viewpoints and details. To boost your dataset variety quickly, try using Flux Context Dev, an image-to-image -image model that lets you take a single shot of your character and generate new versions with different angles, expressions, or lighting. This is a great way to expand your dataset without hunting for tons of original photos or creating images from scratch. Here is an example showing how a simple prompt transforms an initial image into a new variation. For a detailed step-by-step -step guide, check out our YouTube tutorial on using Flux Context Dev in Comfy UI. UI. With your dataset now diverse and ready, the next step is uploading it to the Flux Gym Web UI to start the captioning process. Let's move on. In step 2 of the Flux Gym Web UI, upload your prepared dataset by dragging in your images. Once uploaded, use the Add AI Caption with Florence-2 button to generate initial captions. Since you set Cherry Blonde as your trigger word in step 1, each caption will automatically start with it, including those generated by Florence-2. However, these AI-generated captions can be a bit repetitive or wordy, so it's important to review and clean them up. For example, instead of a caption like Cherry Blonde, a woman with blonde blonde hair wearing a red dress, close-up portrait looking slightly to the side, try something cleaner and more descriptive, such as cherry blonde, close-up portrait, soft smile, looking slightly to the side, natural light, white background. This way the captions focus on visual details like pose, mood, and lighting rather than repeating what the trigger word already implies. After captioning, carefully refine each line by adding specifics about expression, body position, clothing style, setting, or camera angle. Details like waist-up shot, looking over shoulder, or studio lighting help guide the model toward better, more consistent results. Clean captions lead to stronger style retention, improved pose control, and fewer training artifacts. Once your dataset is captioned and polished, revisit step 1 to configure the remaining training settings. Here are recommended values for a character-based Laura trained on about 15 to 20 high-quality images. Set repeat trains per image to 10, which balances learning and overfitting. Max train epics to 12, enough for thorough training without drifting. Leave expected training steps blank, so Flux Gym can auto-calculate. Next, add two to three sample image prompts to generate preview images during training. Set sample image every end steps to 400 for periodic progress checks. And make sure resized dataset images is set to 1024 to match your dataset's resolution. These settings help ensure quality, efficiency, and training stability. Before hitting the train button, let's quickly optimize two key settings in the advanced settings dropdown. First, increase network dim from 4 to 16 to give your Laura more capacity to learn fine details and subtle traits, ideal for fashion-forward or complex characters. This may use more VRAM and take a bit longer to train, 
but it's worth it. Second, lower the learning rate from 8 to 5, keeping the same scale. This slows training slightly, helping preserve delicate features and reduce overfitting on small data sets. With these tweaks, your setup is optimized for high quality, consistent training. Now that you've fine tuned your advanced settings, it's time to start training. Just head to step 3 in the Flux Gym UI and click the train button to launch the process with all your configured options. Keep in mind, the first time you train, FluxGym will download the base FluxDev model in the background, which can take some time. So be patient if progress seems slow at first. Sometimes you might see temporary connection errors after the model downloads. This happened in our case too. The good news is the model is cached locally, so simply restarting the pod without terminating it usually fixes the issue and training runs smoothly on the second try. Training 2400 steps typically takes around 1.5 hours on a powerful GPU like the RTX 4090. Though times may vary, early in training the UI may seem unresponsive. This is normal as it's processing data behind the scenes. You can track progress through preview images and logs that update at your set intervals, giving you a glimpse of your Lore's evolving style. If you encounter frequent connection timeouts, consider using Secure Cloud rather than Community Cloud, as it offers better GPU infrastructure infrastructure and stability. Once training finishes, your LoRa files will be saved automatically in the Outputs folder, using the LoRa name you set earlier. In our case, they're located inside the Cherry Blonde Outputs folder. Because we enabled checkpoint saving every four epics, and trained for 12 total epics, you'll now find three safe tensors files, each one representing a snapshot of the model's progress at different stages. These are ready to test directly in Comfy UI to see which version delivers the most faithful and stylish results. To try it out, open Comfy UI and load the FluxDev FP8 LoRa workflow. You can download the workflow JSON file from the written article. The link is in the video description. Then simply drag it onto your Comfy UI canvas. Once it's loaded, find the LoRa loader node and select your trained file. In this case, we'll use version number 12, which represents the final checkpoint saved after 12 epics. Next, enter your trigger word in this case Cherry Blonde, along with a prompt that matches the look and feel you're going for. Then hit run and watch as Comfy UI brings your LoRa to life for the very first time. Here are some more image examples from the LoRa we just trained, showing different styles, angles, and lighting setups in action. Hope you learned something new. Now it's your turn. Try creating your own LoRa and see what you can bring to life. Catch you next time. Peace.